Hello, friends out there. It's Dr. Dickinson, and we're going to be talking about box and whisker plots today. It's going to help us with our sixth grade math standard, and it's a useful tool to be able to organize data this way so that we can understand what our data represents using percentiles. All right, so before we get started with how to actually create a box and whisker plot, and I'm using Google Jamboard here today to help me organize this data, I want to review some of the key terminology that you need to know in order to understand a box and whisker plot. First, we need to know what the median number is when we're looking at the data. And as you can see here in this image, the median right here is that middle number. And in this illustration, it's 22. So let's go ahead and look for that definition for median. We're looking for the middle number in our data set. And it's right here. It also indicates it's the 50th percentile, the middle value of the data set. That is our median. And we also want to be able to, to identify in our data set the minimum, okay, minimum. And if you can see here in this illustration, we have a little dot here, and the minimum in this box and whisker plot would be 16. So the minimum is the smallest number in the data set. Now, as a teacher, I you can use a box and whisker plot to graph my student scores and the lowest score would be the minimum value of that data set that I'm looking at. And it's located at the end of the left whisker here. All right, and opposite of minimum, we're gonna need to find the maximum of our data set. And friends, that is the largest number in the data set. It's located at the other end of the right whisker, okay? That's why we have these lines with these little dots representing a whisker, but that maximum is that end data. All right, now let's go ahead and find out the first quartile. Notice it's located right here, the first quartile. And when we start organizing your data, the first quartile we're gonna be able to identify by looking for the middle number in the smallest, um, the middle number between the smallest number and the median of the data set. So when we organize our data set, We'll organize it by quartiles, and we'll be looking for that middle number of that lower door, lower part of the data set, and that's our first quartile. All right, and then the uh, when we look at the next part of our data, we'll be looking for that upper quartile, and that is um, here at the other end of the box and whisker plot, and we'll be looking for the middle value between the median and the highest value of the data set. That's our third quartile or you can also um, reference it here as the upper quartile. And finally, we can always indicate the interquartile range, which is the range of data within our box. So as you look at this illustration here, we look for the median, which is 18, a, and in the lower quartile, and the upper quartile, which is 26. And to find that interquartile range, which is that range of data, between the lower quartile and upper quartile, I would just find the difference between 26 and 18, which is eight. And that range represents the 25th to the 75th percentile. So it's all the data points that are in between this box here, the 25th to the 75th percentile. Okay. I know that's a lot to make sense of, but hopefully once we start looking at how to do this, it'll make sense. So the first step that I like to think of when I'm doing a box and whisker plot is to actually arrange the given data from the smallest to the largest number. As you can see here, this data is not organized. So I'm gonna go ahead and start organizing my data. I like to use the Jamboard because it can actually move these pieces around, which is, kind of fun. At least it's a little bit more interactive. Now that I've arranged my data as such, get that 90 over here. I want to try and see which one, where is my middle number? So I'm going to take the pen tool. As you can see here, I have four numbers here and four numbers here. That's eight, and then I have one number in the middle. So I have a total of nine data sets. So friends, when I have an odd number of data set, that means that my median is gonna be right smack in the middle. That way I have the same amount on the left and the same amount on the right. And so our median is right here. It's in the middle between the 
first quarter and the third quarter. So I'm going to go ahead and just duplicate that number here. And this is where my median is going to be for my box in a whisker plot. The next step is to find that first quartile. And the first quartile is the median or the middle number of quarter one. So as you notice here, I have 60, 77, 79, and 80. I have four numbers in even set here on this um, lower quartile. And so I need to find the median, which is just like finding the average of the two numbers in the middle. Now I have 77 and 79. So the average is going to be 78. It's actually the number in between 77 and 79. So I'm going to go ahead and create a sticky note and just write the number 78. Of course, I could add up 77 and 79 and then divide by 2. And that would be useful to do if um, there wasn't just one number in between those two numbers, right? So there's my 78. That is the median of quarter 1. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing for my upper quartile. I have 87 and 87. Obviously, these are the same numbers. And if I was to add them up and divide by 2, I would get 87. So that is my median of quarter 3. Now I can go ahead. I've already figured out the median 1, median 3. Now I can identify the minimum and the maximum. Again, the minimum is the smallest number of my data set. It's going to go right here on that dot, okay? And the maximum is at the other end to 90. I'll put that over here on this dot. All right, so we've gotten the minimum and maximum, and now I just need to find the interquartile range. Remember, this interquartile range represents 70, the um, 50th percentile of the data, which is the 25th percentile to the 75th percentile. And it's all the data that's in between this box here. So that's the range between 78 and 87. So just like finding the range um, when you're doing a data set, you would just find the difference between 87 and 78, which is 78 plus 10 is 88. So I'm just going to subtract 1 to get back to 87. So that makes it 9. All right, friends. So now that we've done that for our first um, activity with an odd set of data, let's go ahead and try this again with an even set of data. So remember, our first step is to arrange the data from smallest to greatest. So we'll go ahead and do that. And you're following along. You can certainly write this down and practice with me. Oops, I forgot 15. So this is, oops. Why I like these sticky notes, because I can just move the data around. All right. OK, so notice in this data set, I'm going to have two pieces of data that are in the middle, right? I have 14 and 15. So in this case, I will want to add up 14 and 15, which is 29, and divide by 2, which is 14.5, which makes sense because 14 and a half is right in between 14 and 15. So I'm going to create a sticky note because my median number, again, is in between 14 and 15. As you can see here, I have one half of the data here one half of the data here. Again, this is when we have an even number of data. We'll have two numbers in the middle. Let's go ahead. I'm going to get a sticky note and write my median, 14.5. And I'm going to plug that into my box. Again, the middle right here of this box and whisker plot. It's right in between the two boxes. That's where the median is, OK? Now, I'm going to go ahead and find the median of quarter one, this lower quartile here. I have two 12s, so obviously my median for quarter one, uh, quarter one is going to be 12. And it goes right here, at, right uh, next to this box. And now I'm going to find the median of our upper quartile, quarter three. Again, the number in between 16 and 18 is going to be 17. So I'll just create a sticky note, write 17, and save that here. All 
All right, so now that I have quarter one, quarter three, and now I can identify the minimum maximum, which is pretty easy peasy because that's my two endpoints. So that's 10, goes right below this dot here, and 30. Okay, now if you're wondering about the sizes of the boxes, just to make note that this sizes represent the spread of the data between the median of quarter one and the median of quarter three. So note that the spread here is closer. 12 and 14 is only two and a half um, in terms of the distance away, whereas 14 and 17 is, you got it, three and a half. So it's a little bit bigger here. Now I've got my minimum, my maximum, all of my quartiles. The last thing to do is just find the interquartile range which again is going to be um, di the difference or the distance, right, between the two quartiles. So 17 minus 12 equals five. So we've got everything we need for a box and whisker plot. Hopefully this video was helpful. See you next time.